little backwards wind, not much. Had a decent rain. Up country, I heard, is a lot windier and a lot more flooding. And we've got bananas. You. Aloha, everyone. This is Blaze. Just checking in. Want to give you a little update on uh, the vibe in Maui. And I've often told people uh, from Four Seasons, my guests and clients and friends now and families, how grateful I am to have you guys in my life and have you come visit. I can share all the reef and what Maui has to offer. You share with me. We stay connected. Boy, it's lonely and it's been so disconnecting and it's just not the same to go down to the beach there and uh, with no one to share it with. But I do want you to take a look at what things are going on here and uh, what a ghost town it is down there actually. So let's go hit the road. Right now, if you land at Kahului Airport, OGG, you'll see all the rental cars parked all around the surrounding open fields near the airport. Thousands and thousands of cars just sitting there for months now. And as you look over at the airport, there's one of the shipping planes is taking off, but there are no other planes moving except for the two Hawaiians sitting at the terminal. As we take a quick run down to Kihei and Wailea, you can see people are out and about more now. They used to be pretty empty ghost town roads like everywhere else, I'm sure. But minimal traffic. This is Saturday morning, about 9 a.m. You still don't see a lot of families out and about, really. As we get closer and closer, to Wailea, the traffic thins more and more. Here we just passed the police station in the Cove Park. Now we're getting to South Kihei. And you'll see less and less traffic start thinning out. It seems like a lot because we're going so fast, but there's not much here when you're really driving regular speed. And then we'll come down into Wailea, drop down past Monkey Pod. The shops of Wailea, ghost town. We'll pull into the front of a hotel, check in with security and park, and head to the dive shop. Aloha everyone, this is Blaze. I thought I'd uh, give you a little shout out and a little video tour of the dive shop in the Four Seasons. Uh, as you may know, we've got a little hurricane or tropical storm hitting our way tonight, tomorrow morning, so there's a big cleanup in progress. But this place mostly has been a ghost town while they do some construction and prep for September 1st, October 1st, December 1st. We don't know when the opening is going to be. But let's take a little tour around. I'll show you the beach and what you're uh, missing and longing for. And I miss you guys. I know you all know this view right here. This part looks the same. Pristine. No one around. Calm water. But the funny part is, is all the turtles are super friendly. They miss everybody. They come swimming right up to you and won't leave your side. They're like eager to see you. Hey, everybody. Just like I am. Come visit. Let's go dive. Now let's take a sneak peek behind the scenes. There's a bunch of construction at the hotel to expand some of the cabana area here and some retiling, but mostly everything's put away for the hurricane. And Ferraro's is empty. Lots of renovation going on. I hope that was a fun little tour 
Uh, I'm working on more of these to uh, show you around Maui. But we'll take a run into Kihei to finish this off, and then I'll see you back in my lab. Well, thanks for joining me on that little adventure. I'll share more about Maui and video and text form here coming up. Let me know if there's something else you'd like to see. Contact me by email, text, phone, any way you can get to me, Facebook. Uh, and if you want to know more about the real estate market, I'll uh, publish some video clips from my wife talking about the current state of affairs here on Maui. Definitely a lot of clients moving out here, either as a second home option or to live a new lifestyle. I can fill you in more on the details of making that switch. And I hope to see people soon, or at least share more of our lives together. Aloha and shaka. <laughs>